Go on, go on. Let me like. Hey, first and foremost, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, for Hashem Yahushai, for Hashem Raka Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule and break the stone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams and the folk and the earth pushing the gospel and sensitivity to truth. Shalom. This is Brother Yahawada and Brother Yahusab from South Africa. You know, we come to do a live stream. Hey, that you find the body of Yahweh Shai. You know? Yeah, we can take, we can take from there. Oh, this is our songs of Solomon chapter 5 and uh, verse 7 it says, The watchmen that went about the city found me and they smote me. They wounded me. The keepers of the world took me, uh, took away the veil from me. Okay. And these keepers of the world are the servants of prophets. Okay. In a, in a modern day, present day. Okay. As we are waiting for the return of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord and Savior. These are the elder apostles of Great Mustone on Dao. They've been standing stiffly for, for the name of Yahweh Shah, feeding the flock. Okay. As it says in First Corinthians, let me get that in Corinthians, the first Corinthians, the first chapter. This is our first Corinthians. Yahweh Shai. So the watchmen must be set up, okay? The watchers of the wall, okay? The defenders, okay, of the whole nation of Yasharallah. The saviors that you read about in the book of Obadiah, the many saviors that have been set up right now for the last go around before yeah. the, the eternal glorious kingdom be set up. This is our first Corinthians. Uh, first Corinthians. Let me start at verse, uh, chapter, first Corinthians chapter one. And I'm going to start at verse uh, 25 because the foolishness of the most high is war and the weakness of the most high is stronger than men. Because what, what, what most people, uh, are deem or they look at as being strong, as being honorable, Yahweh Shima Shah uh, deems as, as so. Because Yahweh Shah even said it to the wicked scribes and Pharisees, look man, ye are they that justify yourself. Yeah. Hey, it's still okay to get us out of technical difficulties there. Hey. The, the brother was going into um let me get it about the okay, the first Corinthian. I thought this device is if the connection gives some serious problem. Right. Get it back in first Corinthian. Um, all right, this is um uh, first Corinthians chapter one was um 25, he said, he said, because the foolish, the foolishness of the most side, the hour by Hashem Yahweh Shai is wiser than men. He said, and the weakness of the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is stronger than men. You understand? So this really brother, the brother was going into. You understand? You know? Uh, I'm still lucky. Let me, let me send back. Send back an invite. Are you getting some problem with the internet on the side? Right? Alice is Alice is part of the affliction. Hey, you know, just got it pure, right? That. Hey, I'm back. Oh, it's like yeah. Like I was saying, uh, first, first Corinthians chapter one. Uh, let me start here, verse twenty-five. Because I can the read foolishness it. of the most. I read it. I can read it. I know. I know what's reading it. There. I can read it. For you. So you're saying, break it down. Come. 
Yeah, yeah this is first, first Corinthians chapter 1, verse 25. He said, because the foolishness of the most high is wiser than men, and the weakness of the most high is stronger than men. Can't, because they, they, uh, the normal expectation is of, uh, of, of uh, most people on the world, okay, they judge on a carnal, okay, with, with, uh, with carnal eyes. They don't see the spiritual side of what's being done right now. The most high is a specific purpose. He has chosen the weak things of this world. Uh, right. The ones to who the most people will not uh, be expecting these ones will have the truth. These are the same ones the most high has, has chosen. And he has chosen the same uh, pattern that he has been using in the past, the same thing that he's doing now in the last days. That's why yeah. this truth is not for many. It is for the righteous few remnant of the nation of Israel. Not, not even not the whole nation is going to see salvation because they, were, they are wise in their own eyes. They don't yeah. see the real truth that Yahweh Mashiach is all about. The true purpose of Heavenly Father, they have no understanding of it. That's why I open up with Songs of Solomon, chapter 5, speaking about the watchmen. Okay, the, the wolves who are watching in the gates, okay, who are standing on the wall, okay. Can you get up, Abba Kasha, Jeremiah chapter 1? Jeremiah chapter 1. Uh, yeah, I can. Jeremiah chapter 1. And now verse 5. This is Jeremiah chapter 1. Yeah, this is Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. He said, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee. And I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. Khan, you see? That, that's what has been ordained of Yahweh Shah. Okay, there's no need for us to go, go out there on his, uh, in his college uh, Bible uh, 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 theory, uh, the theoretical uh, schools. Get these yeah. lessons out there. There's no need for that because this thing is already ordained by Yahweh Shah. Who, who are his chosen? You already know who is his chosen already known who is his chosen now. It's only about what playing things out, letting letting it all manifest itself. Uh, as, right. as the scripture do say, look, and the end is manifest. If you don't see this is the end, you've seen the men in sackcloth out there on highways and hedges with garments and bottle blue on their garments. Man, you blinded me. Okay. Right. And the very uh, chances of you waking up is a uh, very, very slim. Okay. Because this thing is what is already ordained by Yahweh Bashim al Shah before we were even born. So you can't right. escape this. If it's meant for you once, you, once you've seen, okay, your eyes have seen your teachers. If, if you're already part of that number of those who are ordained to do this, you're going to go out there, man. We zealously so out there on the highways and hedges. You're going to forsake this filthy society, which is condemned, which is soon going to be destroyed, okay? At the return of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, okay? He's going he's gonna to lay everything down. Everything you see before your sight, Hey, the most high is about to, to hit that uh, the reset button. Okay, he everything's gonna restart from fresh. Because what he has ordained to, to be to be uh to be established a kingdom of righteousness, that's what we're heading into us to right now. And it all begins with the watchmen standing upon their watch. Let me go back to Songs of uh to Songs of Solomon. Uh, these are Songs of Solomon, chapter five. Spare with me. Songs of Solomon. All right, chapter chapter five. So like, let me start here. This is Songs of Solomon, chapter five and seven. It says the watchmen that went about the city found me and they smote me and they wounded me. The keepers of the world took me away. I took away the, my veil from me. Okay, these keepers of the world that took away the veil, as the scripture do say in Amos five, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate. It took it took what it took rebuke. All right, righteous, okay, uh, warnings from Yahweh Hashim Hashem through his mouthpiece, his servants of prophets. That's how we got persuaded. Okay, that's right. why we're having these garments, these physical garments, these, these are these are sackcloth that we have on. And when we're professing the wickedness, we're professing for the fact, just like Yahweh Shai said, look, man, he professed this world is wicked. How much so now? Okay. Shouldn't, shouldn't you be also be out there and confessing the wickedness of this place and the future pending judgment of this world? You're supposed to be doing that. But it only will happen if the veil has been removed from your eyes. The right. covering cast, as long as if it is, if it is removed from you, you're going to be able to do all of that. 
Okay, and it all took what? It took what? The most high setting up men that people take lightly, or right, who are not gonna be regarded, who gonna be who gonna be seen as what as these these men, these pathetic men. You think the most high is dealing with these men? Yeah, these men that you see out there in the house and bow is looking crazy as hell. Hey, okay. let us be fools. Okay, but but the time when Yahweh Shah appears, we're gonna see who the hell has been crazy all this time along. All right, just let yeah. know what he hey. Hey, hey, just like Noah, he, he started this, man. Uh, he, he looked crazy as hell in his generation. How much more us now? Yeah, yeah. You can imagine that. How, How much more? He's no, he seen no building an arm. He said, oh, this mad, we're building a boat. <laughs> God, <laughs> little do they know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are fools for Yahweh Shah. Yeah, we are fools for Yahweh Shah, but it's fine. Yeah. It's fine for us to be fools, man. And, and we take joy in that we've been, cho we've been chosen by Yahab Ashimasha to become a spectacle, man. Okay. Man. Uh, let me go back to, uh, let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and uh, verse 9. This is uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 4 and 9. It says, uh, it says uh, For I think that the Most High have sent forth us, the apostles, last, as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. Right. All right? And guess what? To so all you guys who are out there concerned about views, no, man. We got the main important view uh, viewers that we have is Yahweh, Pashimasha, the whole host of heaven, man. That's right. That's the main view you're supposed to be concerned with. That's yeah? right. That's the main the main views you're supposed to be to be to be concerned with. Uh, okay. Not how many thumbs up you got. No, no, how many how many guys are there on a comment was hey we we have the the, the most uh the best main cl uh, cloud of witnesses is Yahweh Pashim Yasha and the host of heaven man. Uh, that's that's right. who we're supposed to be fearing. Uh, not the eyes of men. Okay, to hell with men. Okay. These people are gonna be judged very soon and horribly God. soon. Uh Papa Kasha, could you go back to Jeremiah chapter one? Okay. Uh verse, verse six. This is Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 6. Then said I, Ah, Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, power. Behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to, to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. See, and what we're bringing out is the words of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai. Okay, we're not turning to the left nor to the right. Though we're still young, uh, Jeremiah, we were, he was physically young himself. Uh, but right now, how, how young we are? Hey, it's about what? Moses, like like Shaggy Hawashai spoke about, uh, you, you can't put uh, a new wine into old bottles. Guess what? This is physically, but also spiritually, man. Because there's still guys who are still young, but spiritually already fucked up and old and torn up. Okay, you got to be young to receive this truth in, in the spirit. Your spirit must still be willing, all right? Yeah, yeah Yahweh Shai said, look, man, let, us, let, let this flesh be weak. Uh, as, as long as the spirit is still willing, you, you're going to be able to receive this truth, okay? So you don't have no form of excuse, uh, and I'm still young, I'm still this. Look, man, go out there on the house and hedges. You know these basic milk scriptures, that's enough for you to go out there on the house and hedges, man. All right, line those precepts up. Okay, get your ass out there on how it's in head. Just don't say I'm. Uh, it's only about, I've, I've just only been learning for a year. Look, man, get out there. Okay, that's what we've been being ordained to do to confess the wickedness of the society, man. Damn. The most high is the one that's gonna give the increase. All right. As we see the men of the Lord, they're still what they're still watering through these different epistles, these different sit downs, these different the different uh, screen lessons, the live streams. Okay. That's that's the most high giving that water, watering, okay. But he's gonna give the increase unto those who have faith, those who, those who are gonna be exercising their faith. That's Damn. that's the main thing that is so important about this ministry. Don't be a watcher, but be a doer and become a real watchman. Good. Now quick one for you. This is um Matthew chapter eleven, verse twenty-five. At the time Yahushai answered and said, I thank thee, O Father. Lord Yahweh of heaven and, and earth, because thou hidest these things from the wise and prudent, and has received and has revealed them unto babes. 
God, you see, that's beautiful, aren't you, babes? Uh, right. Hey, King David, King David said, look, man, out of the mouth of babe, the most I have given uh, the, uh, uh, knowledge. Out of the mouth of babes, you see? Right. So, so, hey, the most High is showing that love. That's why it says in Luke, sh sh uh, it will, Luke 17. Can you get that for me, Baba Kasha? Luke 17 and 1. Luke 17 and 1. Because uh, he, he said, look, man, only unto babes are the most High have revealed this knowledge, this understanding. Okay. Right. This is um, Luke chapter seventeen, verse one. Then, then said he unto the disciple, unto the disciple, it is impossible, but that offense will come. But woe unto him through whom they come. Ah, uh, go on. I read it back again. This is uh, Luke chapter seventeen, verse one. Then said he unto the unto the disciple, it is impossible. But that offend, offense will come. But woe, but woe unto him to whom they come. Yeah, you see? Destruction unto you. Because uh, we know this in, in the work of this ministry, just like this, since the days of old, we already had false prophets and scoffers. How much more now? But the scripture is saying right now, woe unto you in these last days, you're going to get offended. Yeah. Uh, when certain, certain breakdowns, certain uh, revelations have been brought forth, you're going to get offended. You're going to start scoffing because you lack understanding. You lack spiritual discernment. What one to you? Okay, those who are still, because we still even have guys, okay, they're going to come out there on, on, uh, on common boards talking all, a whole lot of nonsense, but they're not doing the work themselves. So you're still part of the, the guys, guys such as those that are still one of those who are still offending. They are bringing these different offenses. But woe unto you, these offenses come. Right. It's better, hey, uh, you're going to keep, keep, on, uh, keep on reading, Papa Gasha, verse 2. Right. Yeah, this is Luke chapter 17, verse 2. It were better for him that a millstone were hung it about his neck, and he cast it into the sea, than that he should offend one of these little ones. Khan, you see these little ones, okay? These these are the same babes that Yahweh Shai said, look, man, I thank your father, but this, this knowledge as you revealed unto babes, these are the babes that you dare not to offend. You are better that yeah, you were never born. Because uh, judgment is going to come to to, to to guys who are going to offend the servants, the prophets of Yahweh Hashim Shai. Okay, these little ones is not talking about small, crawling little babies, man. They can't speak. This, this ministry, man, is for men, okay? It's for men of Yasharallah, okay? To condemn the society, to stand up on their watch, okay? Showing themselves to be men. It's not talking about literal small little babies as these, uh, these, these damn demonic, soon to be destroyed, self, self, uh, self professed Christians want to be, okay? It's not talking about literal crawling little babies, man. It's talking about the servants of Yahab, Hashim, Yahshua, these little ones, okay? Yeah. The same as the most has revealed this knowledge unto. Okay. These are songs of Solomon. Uh, it's like a Proverbs. Now, uh, let me get another piece here. This is a Proverbs. Whatever precept you got, you can bring it up. Get this one quick for you. This is um first first John chapter four verse five. He said, They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. Yeah, so we, as brother was going through, you know, they spiritually discerning, you know, the ones who been offended in the in the world of Yahweh Hashem you know, not not having the spirit of discernment, you know, not understanding the break, you know, coming from the from the from uh, the elder apostles, you understand. And being offended, right? Verse six, he said, We are of Yahweh. He that knoweth Yahweh heareth us. So hey, the, the elect gonna hear it who they're gonna hear it, they're gonna hear the apostle. They can understand, they're gonna understand clearly what they're saying. They're not gonna buck up, right? He said, He he said, He that is not of Yahweh, hear it not us. You understand? You understand? So he not he, he, he that is not of Yahweh, hear it not us. Right? He said, Hereby know we the spirit of truth 
and the spirit of error, right? So you, you, it's like to be offend, to be, who being offended by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is not of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is of the Yahweh is of the devil. As Yahweh Shai say, He are your father, the devil. You understand? You bucking, you bucking up against your Creator. You understand? Because you don't understand, you don't understand, you don't understand. Are uh, you not seeing that the that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast? Because you, because you not seeing it. You 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 add it to the scriptures. Because you because you understand the word take the word the word take by force mean rape. And the most I set up set up laws and, and ways to deal with it in a righteous manner, you being all you being all emotionally offended. Yeah, you not of the most I. That's why you're being offended. You know? The scripture said warn to them that 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 be offended. Of the most high. I got a precept. This is a Malachi chapter 3. Uh, because in order for you to, to start being able to discern, okay, all these different prophecies, uh, in order for you to understand them, you must have returned unto Yahweh Okay, mm. this is a Malachi 3 and uh, 18 says, Then shall ye return and descend between the righteous. And the wicked between him that serveth the most high and him that serveth him not. Because a lot of guys are still unable to, 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 to discern between those who serve Yahweh Hashem and they can't even tell who the wicked is. Yeah. Because they're still blinded unto this very day. That's why you still got have guys say, No, well, when you rebuke, they, they take that as hate. That's not hate when you rebuke, man. You're supposed to rebuke. Okay. When we first when we first uh Yahweh Hashem Hashem, okay, brought us into, into the fold, into the truth. We got rebuked ourselves, okay? Yeah. Through the fear of the Lord, were, were, we, were we persuaded to do this work in the first place? Okay, yeah. so what the hell are these guys talking about? You know, you know, show us some love. This is love being showed unto you daily. Every single day of the week, every single hour, man. Love has been showed. Compassion has been showed, okay? Because these guys are still don't know what love is. They don't know what love is, these guys. They don't understand what love is. It's, it's still right. think love is some fuzzy emotion, but butterfly feelings. No, man, that is love. That is, that is not love. Love is the keeping of the commandments. Okay, and uh -huh. we think these laws, statutes, commandments of Yahapa, Shimei, Shai, are showing love by keeping them. Uh, there are ways on how to deal with your fellow Israelite. Okay, uh -huh. though, hey, Yahweh Shai said, Look, who's my mother and my father? Those who do the will, the will of the father. This is my mother and father and sister. Okay. Uh -huh. So if you if you're not really doing the works of Yahweh Hashem in spirit and truth and sincerity, you're gonna get that rebuke, okay? That's right. You're gonna get that rebuke. That's right. So that it can't. That's what the scripture says. Say, mark them that cause division. Okay. You're supposed to be doing that. If, yeah, if that if that was, go ahead. Yeah, we get rebuke every day because hey, we, our spirit our spirit are different from these heathens. And to turn up, go walk in the spirit of the heathen. So you will get rebuked because we're going off and rebuke is love. Rebuke is not hate, rebuke is love. We get caught every day by these scriptures. Every single day. And we read these scriptures, we get caught. We get rebuked by the most high reveal this knowledge unto babes and giving back, giving back our heritage and teaching us how to be kings and priests and rulers. That is love. And how the most I do it, he rebuking us with his words. You understand? Ka, ka, just like the multitude when it, when he stopped our following Yahweh Shai in St. John, okay, they got cut, they got rebuked so much, they stopped following Yahweh Shai because well, they were not truly following Yahweh Shai. Because we still have those same guys who are still pretending as if they're following Yahweh Shai, as if they're done with Yahweh Shai, but they're not. Because once that sharp rebuke comes, hey, they drop everything, okay? All kinds of demonic uh, uh, characteristics are start showing up because what they were never of the fold. That's how yeah. most people are, are going to be what get sifted out. Yeah. This is Saint John chapter uh, chapter six. Uh, let me see Saint John chapter six. Oh, verse sixty-six says, uh, says from that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Okay, because he was uh, 
he was talking about what that is gonna a time will come over he's gonna be what he's gonna be, be betrayed all right because he knew he knew very for sure that there were guys just following him you know should uh, push come to shove they will betray him in the first at, at, uh, at an instant he knew that so Yahweh is he told him, look, man, let me just keep reading. So St. John 6 and 63, 66 says, from that time, many of his of these disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Yahweh unto the twelve, will he also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom will, uh, shall we go? Uh, thou, uh, thou, thou hast our words of eternal life. We can't go nowhere. Even when we get getting rebuked, that's a not, that's a beautiful sign for us, hey man, for us to, to to build up on that inner man, okay, for the spiritual man to what to be renewed day by day, so the outward man, let it let it perish, okay. Second Edward thirteen and thirteen, I believe says, well, let go of the mortal thoughts, okay, casting away uh, the thoughts which are too heavy unto thee, all, right? all these kind of demons are gonna plague your mind whenever you get this when you get rebuked. Even yourself, when you're reading these scriptures, you're going to get cut, okay? But it's about what? Moving on, okay? Becoming a better man daily. That's what this thing is all about, okay? Yeah. That's how we're going through it. We're still going through uh, the refining process. We're not as of yet tried. We're not as, as of yet uh, refined. But we're going through that process right now until that, that final change comes. Uh, yeah. But we're no longer going to be changed as a garment, Okay? Till that day comes, we're gonna go through these chastisement. That's part of growth. Yeah, that's something on uh brother Barani coming board. Uh say shallow yeah, watch him yeah, shy bash him rap the dash, but the thumb. Psalm seventy-six, no Psalm seventy-five, six and seven. Therefore promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is judge, is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. Can you understand? That's why Yahweh Shai said the kingdom, the, the kingdom of heaven shall be, shall be taken from you and go to another, another people. Take the knowledge away from what the scribes and the Pharisees. You know, they they were the rulers in Israel. You understand? They was the one who sit in Moses' seat. And what Yahweh Shai said, hey, the, the kingdom of heaven is going to be taken from you, which is this wisdom that you understand in. Right? And the most I revealed to babies and suck and babies means a hey, the most I reveal this knowledge to what the meek, humble in spirit. You understand? Right? So yeah, my shit, gotta... my class. Go can't sure can. that's... come out. You see, that's beautiful. This is a second address, chapter one, and uh verse 36 is uh you know what. I'm going to start at verse 35, says of second address chapter one, uh, verse 35 says, says your houses, your houses will I give to a people that shall come, which have, which are uh, not having heard of me, yet shall believe of whom I showed no signs yet, uh, they shall do what have com whatever, what I have commanded them. They uh. have not, they, they have uh, seen no prophets, Yet they shall call their sins to remembrance and acknowledge and acknowledge them. All right, this is this is the time that we live in. We're acknowledging the former trespasses of our forefathers because we are our forefathers. Right. Okay, we no longer what are uh, living carnally. Okay, having the full scope understanding of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. That look, man, these laws are spiritual in the first place. Okay, you, you can never be justified by, by the works of the, by, by the doom by, by the doom of the law by the keeping of the law because we can't keep them 100 percent that's why Yahweh Shai came we, we live him through faith by rehearsing his righteous acts they've never been done away with so we can't f possibly f uh justify ourselves in keeping these laws man if we could be justified by the works of the law the question is how many figures have you seen man you should have killed every single last one of them so yeah. so you already broken the entire law Okay, you've already broken broken these laws. Okay. So hey, Yahweh Shai came. Okay. But now he has left us what well, with the comfort and now we believe and we're acknowledging our sins and our trespasses against Yahweh Shai. As, right. as the spirit is bearing witness, okay, with us scattered among all these different nations, we're calling everything into mind. This is the time right now. Okay, before the return of Yahweh Shai, he's gonna recompense. 
Okay, all the evil doers accordingly. He has a reward with him. Okay, and he's he's he, and he's not he, and he's not he's hey, he's gonna make it sure. Okay, that everyone is gonna receive according to what he have done, whether it be good or whether it be bad. We're gonna stand before his judgments, the judgment seat of Yahusha. Yeah. This uh, you got a precept? Yeah, this is um, Job eleven and fourteen. He said, um, "If iniquity be in thy hand." Put it far away, and let not wickedness dwell in thy tabernacle. And this is what your brother going into. You know, we, we call our sins to remembrance. And what we do? We first take it, we turn it back to righteousness, which is the last statutes and commandment. Right? You understand? This, that's why this is why IUIC scar we were um faith-based Israelite. Yeah, it's all about faith. Faith gonna make you keep the last, faith gonna make you turn away from the ways of this wicked society. Right, stop walking the spirit of the so called white man. Faith gonna make you do that. You understand? Read back again. This is Job 11 and um, 14. He said, If iniquity be, be in thy hand, which is which is your sins, put it far away from, put it far away, and let not wickedness dwell in thy tabernacle. You understand? Don't let wickedness dwell in your tabernacle, turn away from, the, from those the ways of this, this society. You know, hey, renew, re renew the inward, the inward man. You understand? Which, 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 which have, which have the single eye. Which, you know, we, we, we will focus on your how about Hashem, You understand? Right. So yeah, depart from that. But niggas wanna, niggas wanna claim that, that, that niggas wanna claim that they, hey, yeah, I know I say Israelite. Yeah, I know the name of your about Hashem, Yeah, I keep in the laws. This, that, that. Ex no, there's not. It's not about that. Hey, hey, we we have a we have we have we have a a, a, um, a, a characteristic that we supposed to be. How we supposed to walk in the sight of the Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? How we supposed to behave? It's not just hey, I say Israelite and this it. No, you understand? It's all about your attribute, your works. We supposed to be. The most I say we are kings. We are priests unto Him. You understand? You can't be you 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 can't you can't be a king or a priest unto the most side and you part of the society. You you wanna speak against you don't wanna speak against society, you don't wanna speak against the wickedness of these women. You understand? You trying to say um trying to butter things up like are you I see in this place trying to butter up things. No, that's not the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We don't care, we don't care if it's your father, your mother, brother, sister. We're not saying disrespect them, A, hey, but condemn the wickedness. Condemn the wickedness because that's not how this now what Israelite supposed to be. You understand? That's now you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. This is our spirit. These scriptures is our spirit. This is how we're supposed to walk. And it also tells you what we're not supposed to do. So if you see, if it, the scriptures have to say, honor your mother and father. Yeah, we honor our mother and father. We're not going to disrespect them. But we can say, yo, yo, that. However we refer to your father as daddy, pops, however we refer to your father, you know you're not supposed to be eating swine, shark, you know you're not supposed to be doing X, Y, Z. You're going to say the same thing, mother too. Mother don't mean you're disrespecting your mother. They mean you're condemning the wickedness. You understand? There's the spirit you're supposed to be in a ruling class mentality. Upright. You understand? When you walk, when you when you when you walk in the spirit, you're living. So knowing that the Israelite and knowing the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh. That's not it. You understand? I got a precept. This is Ecclesiastes yes. chapter seven. Uh, verse 16 says be, says, be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why should thou destroy thyself? Because these guys, that's why they're pushing the law, the law, the law, the law. They're, they're trying to be over righteous. Meanwhile, they're pushing the law, okay, but they still have drugs. They still got have, have guys who are who have lineups, but 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 they're claiming to be keeping these laws. See, they've been nothing but hypocrites, these guys, okay. It says, uh, <clears throat> Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, <clears throat> verse 16. 
It says, be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why should, should thou destroy thyself? Because well, we're here to rehearse these righteous acts. Okay, we're not going to keep them 100%. Okay, not when we are in this flesh. Okay, in these weak, uh, fra fragile bodies. Okay, it says, uh, be not, it says, uh, be not over much wicked. Okay, uh, neither be thou foolish. Why should thou die before thy time? God. That's why going going to what into balance. Since now we have grace, grace is not a license for men to sin. The most says, Look, man, I've not given the men license to sin. Okay. God. But we're here to what? To rehearse these righteous acts. Okay. To return unto Yahweh to show that love unto him. Okay. Here, but we know that what we know Yahweh by keeping his law. His, his, uh, his laws, his commandments. If any man says he knows the most high and keepeth not his commandments, he is a liar. Uh -huh. Okay, because we keep we keeping these laws in what in balance, okay, and consume what kind of a society we live in. Certain laws you just keep, you just cannot keep them in a society. Okay, you're gonna end up being locked up. Okay, you're gonna end up being locked up for sure. And who is going to be left to, to, uh, to condemn the society and to continue uh, the works of all that has been revived of Yahab al Shimasha by his servants and prophets being out there? Who else is going to do that? Because these guys will be scoffing. They're not going to do this work. They're, going to, they're not even dedicated into, do, into doing whatever they be doing, man. Because they're, 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 they're no different from, 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 from hirelings, these guys. They're just pretenders. Pretending as if they serve Yahab Bashimasha, but they but they are not. I'm gonna jump down jump down to verse uh, 20 says for this there is <clears throat> it's like Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 20. For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sin if not. Okay, yeah, we acknowledge we are sinners, man. Okay, that's why we need Yahweh Shai so desperately. Okay, yeah. so that all these transgressions they could be put behind us as a nation. Okay, yeah. let's go. This are uh, Hebrews chapter, uh, Hebrews chapter eight and eight. Okay, this is what we're yearning for. That's why this, this is this is what our soul is is crying for. This are uh, Hebrews chapter eight, verse eight says, "For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, and with the house of Judah." Okay, not not you Edomites. Not you so-called uh, Africans, you Hamites, none of you nations, okay? The house of Judah and the house of Israel, the Hebrew Israelites. This is who this new covenant is for, okay? Those who descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, this is this new covenant has been promised to, okay? It says, uh, not according to the covenant that I made with their forefathers in the days when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the hand out of the land of Egypt. Because right? these laws were the laws of who of Yahweh Shah, okay, passed down through the hand of Moses unto the nation, unto the sons of Yasharala. All right? But it's no longer about that. It's about what rehearsing these righteous acts and the hope. Okay, these laws being a foreshadow of, of things to come. This is a Hebrews 8. And uh, in keeping says, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. But now the Messiah is regarding us once again, okay? Yes, By him sent, sent forth his, uh, his Holy Spirit, okay, unto his servants and prophets, okay, supping with his servants and prophets. But now the, restore, the, the restoring of the nation, beginning with the elect, the Most High is what? He's regarding us right now. That's why you see men out there on the houses and hedges. Okay, he's having compassion on us. Isaiah said, Scripture says that in Isaiah, okay, he has forsaken us for just for a season. Okay, it has not been that long, but un, unto us on, in this physical realm, it seems like a hell of a long time. Good. Okay, it seems like a hell of a long time. Good. Okay, it says, uh, verse 10 says, For this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after those days. Okay, after those days, us battling the flesh fighting demons in our minds okay the last of the flesh fighting after those days man after these different fucking scoffers who came in and died kept yeah, them like scoffing these guys disbelieving the servants the prophets of yahweh after those days man okay yeah. after the downfall of babylon burning up in flames after those days this is what is in promise unto, unto yahweh to the nation of israel okay hebrews 8 
in uh, 10 says, For this is the covenant I will make of the house of Israel after those, uh, after those days, if the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their heart, and I will be unto them a power, and they shall be to me a, a people. They shall not teach every man his neighbor, because uh, nobody's going to be going off after those days, man. Nobody will be going off. Uh, that's why right now we're commanded to go out there on a house and hedges, man, and to condemn this condemn the society. Okay. All right, it says, uh, and every man his neighbor saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least and to uh into the greatest. All right, all are gonna know Yahweh because these laws are gonna be embedded within us, man. Okay. <clears throat> They're going to be programmed within us, okay, from birth. Two thirds are going to die on this side around, okay, when they come back and be born as new as newborn babes in the kingdom, they're going to have these laws, that commandments within them. They never, we're never going to go off, okay. That's the promise. That's what we're yearning and waiting for to see. Damn. That's why we still have to still be up there on our and hedges, man. Okay, as scripture says in Timothy, these scriptures were, were given for our reproof. Okay, so that, so that, in fact, let me just get this in Timothy. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. Ah, brother, I hear too, boy. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Hey, Shalom. Plantation, why? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, you know, the brother breaking out some nice with you. Hey, man, we listen here, man. Shalom, man. Yeah, we listen here. Check back to them. Hey, shalom, man. Hey, shalom, yeah, we listen here. Check back to them. Back to back to. Yeah, I want to be coming, Gordy. Let me just get this one. This is a uh, um, this is Yawan Yawana La um, Yakal, right? Um, uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 1. He said, Death flee, cause he said, Cause the anointment of the apothecary to send forth the stink, the stinking savor. So do it a little folly, him that is in repetition for wisdom and honor. You understand? So these men, so these these men doing anything to uh, to get uh, repetition and what? Uh, I know. He said a wise man heart is in the right hand, isn't it? So like a wise man heart is at his right hand. So a wise man mind can be, can be on Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai because we know Yahusha is your right hand, right? He said, but a fool's heart is at the left. You know, so he he he. He 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 minus on Satan. You understand? Can. Can. That's what they're doing right now, man. Okay. Hey, spiritually, man, as we as we are here in the state of Yahweh, okay, Baba Kasha, can you read that Ecclesiastes uh, 8 and 1 again? This is Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 1. He said, Death, he said, Death flee, cause the anoint the anointment. Of the apothecary to send forth a stinking savor, so do it a little folly that is in repetition for wisdom and honor. You see, we are here standing in the stead of Yahweh of, of Yahweh Shah. He's the, the, the what the mediator, the healer. We're sending forth the healing right now, Good. but these guys are still dead in their old wax. Okay, so this healing, this word is not taking any effect to them. Just like dead flies, okay, that causes what uh, uh, the medicine of the apothecary, okay, to to make it what to to send forth a dead uh, a stinking smell. Six, so six so the, it, it's, it's a stinking savior, okay. Part of the stinking savior that that we still smelling right now is these guys coming up these false doctrines that these other heathen nations that can make it into the kingdom. That the, the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast. This is a stinking savior. Uh, yeah. To the servants of Yahweh Pashima Shah, we're bringing you the healing through the spirit and power of Yahweh Pashima Shah, but you're not listening. Isaiah said it, look, man, this is the refreshing. They don't want to be refreshed. They still want to have flies flying all over them, and they're stinking right now. 
an unpleasant savior. We still smelling, and Yahweh Hashem Shai does not like that that stinking savior. As we as we've been sent forth. Right, because that um that um, anointing of the apothecary is our oil. The Psalms 23 was um was street. He restored my soul, he leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Right? Because flies fly generate gen flies are generally around dead and unhealthy things, right? But we walk into the valley of dry bones and 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 the shadow of death. That's all these these two tools around us, these heathen, these these nations with their philosophies and the gods, right? So now when you when you don't break down, when you don't when you don't feed or anoint the head with oil with wisdom knowledge and understanding as it was, it, as it came down from the from the thrones of your Hawaii Shimmy and Shai, guess what? It's gonna stink. It's gonna be a stinking saver, and it's gonna attract what flies and death, right? You're not building up. Yeah, you're not building up Jerusalem at the gates for what? The day of the Lord. Right? It says, verse 5, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And we, hey, guess what? We are alive now, now that we know that we are Hebrew Israelites. I know, um, but I, I was saying that earlier on in the street, it's not just knowing that they are. Uh, 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 Israelite and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is the name. It's much more than that, but the, the, those are those are part of it. Is that are more, right? Knowing who your enemy is, right? Basically, we learn the art of war, right? Our enemy practices the same things that that once it, once once it is successful, he he continues to repeat it, right? Then T A D, right? They came and they sacked Jerusalem. Hey, look, we look within 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 recent times coming forward, you know. They, they, what, they, they, they use blasphemies, they lose definition, they, they create a case against you, and then what they come for you. It's the same thing they're going to do, right? right. So, hey, you not, you're not building up, you're not, you're not building up is what is that, 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 that is basically is a wrong anointing, right? It's an anointing with, with, with all oil, you understand? There's surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of your power forever. I got a precept. Can go ahead. Uh, this is a Proverbs chapter 24. That's thinking our uh, our savior. This is a Proverbs chapter 24, verse uh, chapter. So like a Proverbs chapter 24, verse 30 it says, I went by the field of the slothful, and by the vineyard of the man void of, of understanding. The one who are what? Who lacks that oil? Uh. It says, and lo, it was all grown over with thorns, and nettles have covered the face thereof. And the stone was uh, says, and the stone wall thereof was broken down. It says then I saw and I considered it well and looked upon it and received instruction. Yet a little sleep and, and uh, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as uh, as one that travaileth, and it says uh, and thou and thou want as as an armed man. See that's what's going to happen at the end of the day. For you being slothful, not roasting the what you have, not, not making your full proof of your ministry, you're gonna end up bugging out. And most are, or else most are, are gonna start taking you out at the end of the day. We are being slothful. It's about being yeah. diligent unto the end in this work. Once you start doing this work, there's no hey, you can't afford to uh to, to, to pull your your to remove your hand off the plow. You just cannot be slothful. This is the worst time for you to, to be slothful in. This is the worst kind of generation for you to be found unworthy, okay, before the sight of Yahweh Hashim Shah. You just cannot right. afford to do that. Done. This is um, if you can tell seven, verse three. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O power, O Lord, power, thou knowest. Again, he said unto me, this is what he said. He said, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the words of the Lord. Thus said the power power. Thus said the Lord God unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. So if you're not if you're not teaching the truth, you're not putting, you're not giving them breath, you're not giving them life. It says, I will lay sinews upon you 
and I will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you. And ye shall live and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. Right? This is very important right. because the scripture says a little leaven leaven it the whole lump. Right? And guess what? If you don't have that basic understanding, because basically what the scripture says, um, as you all went to went into it uh, before, um warn to you that offenses come. Right? And the scripture talks about um uh, those that often be reproved pardon it then the, the, the neck, right? Rocky paraphrase it. So it's part of the journey to be reproved. If you go wrong. The scriptures say, all right, just one fall it seven times. But guess what? When you fall, you have to, when you fall the first time, you have to get up, you know, to fall the second time. So when you fall, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to humble yourself. Humble yourself, take reproof, right? And you continue to go until the most high work that perfect work is in you. And, pre- and, and you are made white to be presented with crowns in the, in the end, right? There's no glory and there's no shame in falling, right? You fall, it was wrong. It was wrong. If you can say this, if you can say this. And the falling again, what you can gain experience. Huh. You understand? Wisdom, wisdom is gaining what experience. So when you fall, you gain experience. So you're gonna you 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 gonna be able to give a brother hope because a brother might fall a similar way like you, you fall. You give the brother what hope because what you experience that you been through that. It is a beautiful thing when you fall huh. and get up. You understand? Is that the most high prepared the most high prepared us to be what the kings and and priests be rulers we gotta know these things we gotta go through the, we gotta we gotta go through this thing our we rehearse it and where where's the where's doing rehearsal you're rehearsing before the before the day yeah you understand so and in and, and the during the rehearsal um, process you make mistakes they mean you fall might press the wrong key, you might make a wrong step, you might miss a line. What you gotta do? Stop, get up, start over. And that's how you gain experience. That's how, that's, that's how you that's how you master your craft. You understand? Okay. So put it put it put it into the put into the in, 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 into the spiritual aspect. We make mistakes, you fall, you get rebuked. What you do? Hey, sucked up and okay. keep moving. I have a quick precept. It says, He that had, so rock to the four and ten, he that had no experience knew it little. God. But he that had chocolate is full of prudence. God. Right? So rock to the four, so lucky, I should have started verse nine. A man, so rock to the four and nine, a man that traveled knowing many things. And he that had much experience will declare wisdom. He that had no experience knew it little. But he that had traveled is full of, of prudence. Right? Yeah. You see this this journey, this journey in the truth. We didn't come into the truth and just learn that um yeah, how much me how shy is your name and that you are Hebrew version, right? And all of a sudden you've been cleansed and washed. It's a journey. Yeah. It's a it's a part you're traveling, a part that you didn't travel before because it wasn't righteous before. It wasn't practicing righteous with righteousness to the to the full extent with understanding, right? It says, Sirach 25 and 6, much experience is a crown of an old man, of old men, Salakia, and the fear of Yahweh is their glory. Dang. Right? So, so you, you know, you can be old and gray, but without experience, without knowledge. Right? But the ones that, that, um, that have, have experience, that have been through that path, they can guide you, as it was just saying, uh, somebody that experienced it before, they can guide you, so that you don't make well, probably not, not malicious, they will want you to make the same mistakes that they did, and they will show you the path or the formula or the remedy to success, right? Dang. Going back to Sirach 6 and 20, it says, uh, Sirach, sorry, 34 and 10, he that had no experience with little, but he that had traveled is full of prudence. The word prudence is what? The quality or fact of being prudent or wise in practical affairs as by providing for the future. Caution with regard to practical matters, discretion, regards for one's own interest. And if you really did regard your own interest, you would have understand that, that hey, these men who you denounce, or not really denounce, who you, who you don't play because, you know, um, just calling them elders and not apostles and not recognizing that they have been in this thing 30 years non stop consistently. Hey, it's good. 
there's a power behind them, a driving force behind them, and that power, that driving force is the Albert Shimmy or Shai. I mean, that needs to be consistent, not wavering. We should just talk about a man that waver, right? A man that is, um, that, uh, that, that, that is, that is quick to change. I forget how it go exactly, right? But he's unstable in all his way, right? Gotcha. These, the, the apostles and the elders and the men of GMS, they're not, they, they have, they're not wavering. Right, they, even though they fall, if you back up, they have many men that went that been rebuked, have, have been gotten suspension, right? That broke things down wrong, right? That's it, that this has been a made a comment on the comment board and get suspended. Now, guess what? You go out there and continue doing the work with the spirit, the power, the faith in the hour, shimmy or shy, right? And the understanding of the truth to continue in the, in the, in the, in the way that it was taught until the time is right and they end right back to the ship full, right? Yeah. But this thing is not of any um, vain glory, right? That vain glory is, is null and void. Damn. The script just talk about God and just for the next side. Right? That's why we gotta well, listen. Yeah. To the, that's why we gotta listen to the elder apostle because they've been they've been through these experiences. They they were rehearsing they were rehearsing over twenty something years. So you gotta listen to a man like that, men so like you, men like that. You are you. All you gotta do is keep your hands on your, on your lips. These men being true back and forth. You understand? I got the word for wisdom in, in, uh, in Google. It said the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment. So they know these things. They experience these things. They witness these things. They've been through these things. So who's the better poor? Who's who's the better individual to listen to? Man, the men who been through these things, they know it. Mm -hmm. Hey, we baby in this truth, we gotta be taught. Now we can go through the, we can go through some of these same things, and we can gain experience. Hey, now uh, this is now we're supposed to do. This is how we gotta do it because well, you're being through it, right? He uh, said the quality of I'm being up. wise. Where that? I have um some. Synonyms for the word experience. Yeah. It means background, involvement, know how, maturity, acquaintance, familiarity. It says judgment, observation, trial, right? Sophistication, right? Proof, understanding, struggle, and sense. Right? Some of the words for um, synonyms for experience, right? This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8. Verse 7. And if a man loves righteousness, her labors are virtues. For she teaches temperance and prudence, justice and fortitude, which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. God. If a man if a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old and conjureth aright. What is to come? She knoweth the subtleties of speeches and can expound dark sentences. She foreseeth signs and wonders and events of seasons and times. Therefore, I purpose to take her to me to live with me, knowing that she would be a counsel of good things and comfort in, in cares of and griefs. For her sake, I shall have uh, estimation among the multitude and honor with the elders, though I be young. Right, so these are young men, upstarts, novices, and if they wanted honor, they would have revered um, and their elders, the spiritual fathers and the spiritual fathers and brothers over there. Good. A quick one. Here. This is our Ecclesiastical chapter um, thirty-seven, for twenty-three. He said, "A wise man instruct instruct his people, and the fruit of his understanding fail not." Uh -huh. hey, that's what the scripture says. Well, you shall know them by their fruits. Right. You see? And the fruit right now is showing, Lord willing, we'll, we'll be of that fruit that remains of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai through the works of his servants, the prophets, the order that he has set up. This is uh, Hebrews uh, chapter chapter 12, verse 11. It says, says, Now no chastening of the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, after what it, it yieldeth a peaceable uh, fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Okay, 
So, hey, when these rebukes comes, okay, whatever different levels of chastisement we go through, guess what? If you endure all these things, that peaceable fruit of righteousness hey, is, is going to be brought forth and it's going to be shown, which is going to be what? That experience, okay? We have to go through it, okay? And and wh where better to find an advice from men who've been doing this way before, before, before you, okay? Yeah. And we have that leadership. Okay, can you just read verse 5? Hebrews chapter 12, verse 5. Okay, Hebrews chapter 5, verse 5 says, uh, no, chapter 12, verse says, 5. Oh, God. All right, it says, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you, children, my son, despite, despite not thou the chastening of the Lord, no faint when thou rebuked of him. Uh, verse 6. Verse 6 says, For whom the Lord chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteth and scourgeth every son that he receiveth. Right? So, hey, um, when he despised, he didn't despise the apostles, the elders. He didn't despise. When he's saying, uh, hey, hey, you all um, stop hating and show love. We, hey, this is your how about you, I show in love. It's because the scripture says that he, he had not knowing the scripture. Right? When all the brothers turned on you, the first thing the brother said, well, the first brother that came out, which was um, but I'm a one kebab. Right, the deacon out there in New York, he said, What? It's nothing personal, you know? It's strictly business, but this is the business of the father, and this is the love of the father, right? So he 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 he, he, he gave us this claim at the beginning and he showed your love, right? This is the most high dealing with you as a son, right? And, and as, as the brother read lower down, it's no chance, let the present time see what, what comely or, 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 or pleasant, right? But guess what? You need to put pride aside. Because one day when the scripture says um, the sick things and the most high hate and the seven abomination, the first thing he calls is a power look. Right? Uh -huh. Hey, you ain't shit. The most high cannot raise up. I hey, I, I mean we, we get correction in the scriptures, but we, we understand it in all humility that the most high cannot raise up rocks to serve him. Uh -huh. So we have the honor of, of serving him. Let's try to do it to the best of our ability with some integrity and some class. Some sophistication, which we just read, supposed to be sophisticated, is what I have experience. And if a man of experience speak to you, what are you supposed to do? Humble yourself because he knows you don't know. You didn't walk the path. Exactly. And if you walk any path and you fall in and you fail in a man of experience, say, hey, you're doing it wrong. You need to understand. Hmm. You see? I'll pick one Go ahead. I can finish reading what I was reading it. Uh, I'm left with uh, verse 7. Let me read that uh, verse 8. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. This uh, Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 8 says, But if ye be without chastisement, wherefore all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Go on. Oh, you see? Yeah. So that's, that's, these are the ones that the Mosiah receives unto him. Okay. Yahweh Shai said in the book of Revelation, okay, as many as I love, I rebuke and I chastise. Okay. Be therefore zealous and repent. Yeah. This is what this ministry is all about, man. God. Okay. This, this the perfecting of the saints. Can't, can You see, this is what this ministry is all about. The perfecting of the saints for the reproof. Uh, you can get your precept. Can. Yeah, this that's what I have to that's what I have to with the, with the brothers I'm saying. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 22, verse 7. It says, Speak, young man, if there be need of thee. Here it says, if it be need of thee, right? And yet scarcely, when thou art twice asked, let thy speech be short, comprehending much in few words. Be as one that knoweth and yet holdeth his tongue. This is the point right here. He said, if thou be among great men, make not thyself equal with them. Uh, hey, these uh, men is an experienced men. So when you try to make yourself equal with these men, you understand? These is great men, starting with El Lapasa Taran and the El Lapasa Gobar, El Lapasa Ramla, El Lapasa Raka. These is great men. These men be living for years, thirty something years, twenty something years. These is great men. You understand? He said, um, if thou be, if thou. Look how this look look you see these 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 jigs pro right they they can look they can look at my tie say hey, that that's 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 a great man by right? the man the man's a legend they're not gonna they're not gonna buck up against that no 
uh, Michael Jordan, dumbass, hey, that is the greatest ever to walk New York, ever to play the game of basketball. So what about, what about the apostles? They've been doing this over 30 something years and still doing it. And still teaching the same thing. I feel like the work that they do is more applicable than anything that anybody else achieved. Right? The work that they do is applicable work. Being a, being a basketball star and all these other stuff, a, a, a great boxer. That's not going to bring salvation. This work is, is still the salvation of Israel. Right? I have a quick question. I have a quick question. This is 1 yeah. Corinthians chapter 11, verse 31. For if we would, oh, if, sorry, for if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. So, so they were just judge of the Most High, Yahweh so that they, so that they wouldn't be condemned with the world, with the two thirds. The two thirds going to receive a judgment alongside with what he saw. And you see that, God. right? So, hey, this is for salvation. You need to humble yourself. You just need to humble yourself. I'll be a baby. Huh. Yeah, back in um, Ecclesiastes chapter 32, verse 9. If thou be among great men, make not thyself equal with them. And and when he said, and when ancient men are in place, hey, the apostles, they are ancient men. We can't tell you exactly who they is in the spirit, but they are ancient men. These young brothers you've seen around the globe, we are ancient men. You understand? But the apostles, they 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 are above us. We know that through the spirit, they are above us. You understand? It's uh, it's uh, and when ancient men are in place, use not many words. Use not many words. <laughs> you understand? Huh. Now I got a piece of this is Ephesians chapter 4. I'm going to start verse 11. It says, And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for edifying, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach Yahushua. This is the order that the Yahushua has set up for, for the building, for the edification of the body for the perfecting of the saints so how the hell are you going to be perfected if you are part of the saints if you don't go through chastisement if you don't go through rebukes okay how, how can you be perfected it is impossible man okay this is not some kung fu uh, Ch japanese chinese uh, movies where you see uh, uh, a student uh, overcoming uh, his master this is not how this thing goes man okay this is of your okay. that's right it says that for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, to edifying, uh, for the edifying of the body of, of Hamashiach, Yahushua, till we come in the unity of, of the faith and the, and, the, and the knowledge of the Son of the Most High, unto, the perfect, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Yahushua. Of, of, uh, and that's going to happen if only what you want to understand the order that had been set up by Yahushua Yahushua. Okay, offending less as as we as we as we we we, we are we getting closer and closer unto the day of, of the return of Yahweh Shah. Uh, this is uh, Second Timothy <clears throat> chapter three verse sixteen says all scripture is given by the inspiration of the Most High Yahweh Shah, and is profitable for doctrine, not doctrines but for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for for instruction in righteousness. So when you get in these rebukes, it's all what? It's all in righteousness. It is not, it's not out of contention and strive as most people are doing this work for. The only reason why a lot of guys are still doing this work, it is out of contention and strife. That's the only reason why they're still saying the Okay. It is out of strife and contention. But it's not so when you come at great Muslim with the apostles and elders on down. Okay. We have of Yahweh caring for 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 the saints of the Most High, the elect. Okay, as the scripture do say, for the elect, I endure all things. Okay, God. we're not doing this this whole thing to be seen of men, but what? Well, but we know this is a job that must be com be, be completed for the sealing of the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel, for the God. elect, 
to be saved and to be redeemed from among men. Yeah. Uh, two precepts. This is um, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 17. Obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your soul as they must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For that is unprofitable for you. So the scriptures say that um, they have rule over you, right? So because they look after your soul, as the brother just said, they're not, you're not doing this for being glory. But we all understand that this is the house of David being rebuilt, the, ba the Bayat, Dawada, right? This is the house of David being re rebuilt. And in that house, there was order, right? And the Most High has set up his hierarchy. And the apostles and the elders are great millstones. They are the hierarchy. They are the, they are the leaders of the hierarchy, right? The elders and each and every brother come one door. And these other Israelite camps, guess what? You all, you all have... You don't have a basic understanding, but you don't have the prophecy. You have to come to them. You have to come to us. You have to fall in line. Fall in line. And the truth of Paul has to say, you know? It says, uh, Romans 13, verse 3. It says, for the rulers and the terrorists, if you were doing good works, nobody would have to speak to you. Right? That's like when the scripture said to um, the king in the beginning. Yahweh, Yahweh said unto the king. Right? If you are doing well, you would have been accepted. But if it's sin, it no, if it is wrong, sin, sin lies at your door or knock it at your door, right? It says, For the rulers are not a terror to good works, but, but to, to evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? You see, you should be afraid because it's your how about you know, shall you who speak into you and you, 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 you sign up and you, 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 you back talk into the power, to the power, say, How about you know, shy, right? Because it's him. He is in these men, each and every one of us, right? You remember, you have to look at this thing spiritually. We call ourselves what prophets. We are not prophets of, 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 of Baal. We are prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the one true power, him who created heaven and earth, or they who created heaven and earth, right? It says, do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same, right? So if you are breaking on the doctrine, correct? If you are giving honor to great men, Right, you gotta have praise, you gotta have glory, right? If you repent, if, if there's still this, you, you will not have repentance, if the doors of repentance are still open, you still have a chance, right? But repent and humble yourself, right? And fall underneath the ordinance of the most high, right? That is it. Thank you. Yeah, um, you close out. I got one more day, if you want anything else, we can close off after because we know we got here to camp. Okay. Uh, this is um, for us, no, Salakia, Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be love of their own self, covetous, boaster, proud, blasphemer, disobedience to parents, unthankful, unholy. So we see these men being disobedience to the spiritual parents, starting with Elder Apostle Tahar and the other, and the other apostles. They are our spiritual parents. You understand? They're being disobedient to them because Brother Barra just say, hey, they're not spiritual. If you were a spiritual man, you would have know is Yahweh Bashem Yahusha speaking to you. You wouldn't know that. Right? Because Yahusha even mentioned that too in Matthew. Let me see if I get it quick. Right? You don't know that is Yahweh Bashem Yahusha rebuking you and not not Apostle Dahara, not Apostle Raka, or Apostle Ramla. Our Apostle Gobar is Yahweh Shai is who rebuking you. Huh. You understand? This is um uh let me see if I find it boy. It say um it said that um is is this is the spirit of your father speak it in you somewhere much. I think it's much the eleven. I think it's my tree. Let me see. All right, it's the most size. The most size will speak it, speak it, speak it to you. Because it's these words. The men, the men, the Lord speaking these words says, "Yeah, how shall I be booking you?" You understand? Yeah, I find it. This is Matthew chapter ten, verse um, verse twenty. Go straight to the point. He said, for it is not he that speaketh, 
but the spirit of your father will speak it in you. So if you're a spiritual man, you know, hey, you're, being, you're going off on a breakdown. You're going off on the mark of the beast. Hey, is your house I tell you, hey, you're going off. So they, they, are, they are carnal men. They're looking at, they know, is a, is a man speaking to them. And the son and the being what? The being carnal. But no, is your house I you, shall rebuke you. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this is the Psalms 80, 84 and 10 it says, For the day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather to be a doorkeeper in the house of my power than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Okay, you right. gotta humble down, man. Okay, there is all that which Yahabar Shimeon Shah has set up. Okay, hey, being in the truth is good enough. The most I had. had Yeah, like, like, I yeah, sir. It yeah. says, uh, this is um, Romans chapter 13, right? Um, verse 12 The night is far spent and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the woods of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting, drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness. Not in strife and envy, right? But put the on your hour, yeah. Put the on your shy on my and make not provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof, right? Um, you no, know, you no, know, just keep you keep humble, keep humble, and you know, at the end of it all, you're gonna receive your reward, your luck. You understand? Is it there for me? Yeah, brother, yeah, what's up with your cuddy? Yeah, you get this. Hey, hey, we're gonna sit the water to um, hey, the Akyams and the uh, on the comment board. Eh? Oh, you want to sit the water for the support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lessons that you find, you want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well the great men's stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams and the folk on the earth, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. Say Shalom. Shalom.